very good morning students so today we are going to discuss about um, simplification using kmap for uh, finding out minimal sop and minimal pos okay first let us discuss minimal sop here we'll discuss uh, this problem is minimal minimal sop in minimal sop we have to fill the corresponding cells as one okay so i'm filling here um, for zero designation and then two then four four uh, then five six correct five six seven so uh, i'll put here in the six and seven also six and uh, seven i have filled now so it, now it's six then eight ten 8, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15. 8, 10, 10, 11, over, and then 12, 14, 12, 14, and then 15. So now I have filled all the uh, ones in the corresponding cells. Now I have to group. We already know uh, grouping of uh, cells. Correct. There are five thumb rules. Adjacent cells can be grouped. Opposite edges, all corners or adjacent corners already grouped. And then um, fifth one is don't care helps. Correct. These uh, thumb rules I have already put it in video. You can watch there also. Okay. Now see uh, adjacent ones. The major one is adjacent ones. Whenever you see adjacent, you can group. But you have to check about the position. Now see these ones are at the adjacent, correct? And but they are at the edge. So you have to check the opposite edge. Opposite edge also having four ones. So now we can uh, group like this. Now see here we can group together. These four ones and then these four ones together as a octet correct so we cannot close this if you close that becomes a group correct so we are open ending this so now this becomes one octet we have grouped now now on seeing these adjacent ones to uh, we should not group this as pair because our aim should be in this order first there is a possibility of octet first you have to check if octet is not possible then we have to look for quad if quad is not possible then only we have to move for pair if pair is not possible at the end we have to end up with a single cell correct now these tools uh, cells are adjacent but these ones are already grouped these grouped ones are helping us to form a um, quad correct so we can so we can make it as a quad now see here we can make it as a quad so we are having another quad very interesting one and then see again uh, the left out ones are these two no for these two ones for these two ones uh, on seeing immediately we should not do it as a pair correct we have to look at again uh, the grouped ones are helping for us to make it a quad or not now see these two ones are helping us to make a quad correct so we can utilize it now we grouped all the ones no left out ones we have to write the expression for this writing expression for first one uh, this octet correct for this octet no first you have to check from a b c d okay the row represent if you see any value for a uh, ones no if you see in the row it it is a b value if you see it in the column it is c d value that you already know correct so we have to write uh, common variables in this group see we are having four ones here four ones here so for these two ones a b value is zero zero for these two ones a b value is zero one so in the row side only we have to check correct so for these two ones a b value is one one 
for these two ones a b value is 1 0 if you take no a for the first uh, four no a value is 0 sec then another a value is 1 so it's different no need to check for the fourth one also if uh, any one is different we can omit a now we are omitting variable a for all the eight ones in this group correct then i am checking for b b also see here b 0 1 so it is again changing so we are omitting the variable b also then uh, go for cd for these four ones cd value is this one correct see here cd value is this one for these four okay and then uh, for uh, these four ones cd value is 0 1 0 now which is common see here is 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 okay so c is different because for these four ones c equal to 0 for these four ones c is equal to 1 so we are omitting the variable c also but d variable for these four ones d is 0 for these four ones d equal to 0 so same so now we have to consider uh, d variable its value is 0 so we have to take this as d dash uh, we already know we already know that uh, for min term original variable 0 if there is 0 if you find 0 we have to take or a dash correct for example variable if it is 1 no we have to take original variable so this is in sop form just opposite in pos pos 0 if you find 0 means you have to take a 1 means a dash okay this is for sop correct sop now we got one expression for the one group now we have to find out for the remaining group for this i'll take for this one okay this quad for this quad no all the four ones are lying in the same row so their a b value is this one see here their a b value is this one so now for all these four ones a b value is same correct so shall we take a value is 0 so we are taking this a dash b okay so this is very simple if you get a single uh, column or row so you will get a dash and then b for the third quad no the third quad here for the third quad here so first we have to find out row correct uh, see here for these two ones a b is 1 1 for these two ones a b value is 1 0 which is common here a value is the first one correct b is second one so a is common to this so i can put uh, a for this group okay so for this group i can put as a now we ha i have to check for cd so column wise we have to check for these two ones 1 1 correct for these two ones cd value is 1 1 for these two ones cd value is 1 0 which is common first one is responsible for c second one is responsible for d correct which is common in this c is common correct its value is 1 so i have to put uh, c here here i have to put c now i have got three expressions in sop you know i have to write finally f is equal to f is equal to d dash okay sop sum of product correct so plus i have to use plus operation okay a dash b plus a c correct a c i have written like this okay now pos is different correct now what is pos minimal pos if you are given with min terms no the corresponding cells are to be filled with one what are the left out values their left out values are zeros okay as i already told you know the minimal uh, sop we already found out and minimal pos is nothing but the left out cell value is zero so what are the left out cells here now so that are to be filled here so one is left out so its value is zero so it is considered as uh, in pos okay max term one is left out three is left out then see 1 2 3 
four, five, six, seven, eight is there. Nine is missing, so nine will have zero. Correct. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen is missing again. So we have to put now comma uh, thirteen. So these cells are to be filled with zero now. So corresponding cells you now for uh, one it is zero, and then for uh, three it is zero, nine and thirteen. So nine and thirteen. That's it. Now the thing is here these two are adjacent zeros. Like ones, how you group the same uh, manner? You have to group the zeros also. The same five rules we have to apply. Okay. So now here, now what are the groupings are available? First, octet is not possible. If octet is not possible, then go for quad. Quad is also not possible. And these two are adjacent ones. Uh, positions are at the edges. So you are seeing the opposite edge, no pair. So obviously, it is yeah. Uh, Quad one, sorry, pair only. Correct. It is a pair one. We can make it as a pair only. And again, these two are adjacent zero. No other way we can make it as a pair only. So now we got two pairs. For this, again, we have to write the expression for this. So first pair for this expression, we have to write the variables, uh, common variables. Correct. If you find a group, no. Having the same row or column means its value will be same, correct? For these two zero, a b value. We are seeing the rows, a b value for these two uh, cells are same. So their values are double zero. Now in P O S no, uh, S O P zero is taken as a dash, one is taken as a no. Just opposite in the case of uh, P O S. Now in P O S no, zero is for zero is for uh, Original variable and one is for the complement of the variable. It is for P O S, correct? P O S. Now so zero, no? We have to write this as A, and there the expression for each grouping written in product form. Here expression for uh, each group should be written in R operation, correct? A common to these two cells in the group plus Correct. Then B is also common, so B is also common. Plus, then one more variable. See here, you have to check the columns. Correct to find out CD value. This is the CD value for uh, mm, this cell zero one and one one. Correct. So which is common here? D is common. Its value is one. So you have to take this as D dash. Clear. And then second, uh, for this one, no, writing expression for this one. Now, for this, a for this zero, a b is one one. For this zero, a b is one zero. Correct. So which is common here? A value is common. Its value is one. So we have to put a a dash. Clear. As these two zeros in this group lie in the same column, their C D value is same. Zero one. So plus zero. Correct. C value is zero. So we have to take the C. Plus uh, d value is one, so we will take this as d dash. Just opposite consideration for SOP and POS. Now see here, um, we can see here in SOP we will consider zero as a dash. Correct. See here in POS just opposite. Clear. Now we have to combine all the expression. Previously it is no. Uh, The group expressions, which are in product form, are written in R operation. Now this should be written in uh, AND operation. So A plus D plus D dash, correct? Dot, because this is the AND operation, correct? Each expression should be written AND operation. Then the second expression is A dash, A dash plus C plus D dash. Okay. Now this is your minimal P O S. So you'll get like this problem in uh, mm, for thirteen more questions. Okay, like this minimal S O P and minimal P O S for the given min terms. Okay. Thank you all.